So here we are at the decision letter. Again, this is the second decision letter. Um, he filed his claim, didn't like the result, so he did a higher level review. This is the notes from the higher level review. So introduction, I'm sure you guys have seen that, it tells you where you were and all that kind of stuff. We reserved your uh, request for a higher level review and we made the following decisions. So the decision um, was overturned. Evaluation of PTSD with alcohol use disorder, which is currently 70% disabling, is increased to 100%. So he was able to flip this over in a higher level review based on the evidence that he had on file. Um, he has good, uh, under evidence, this is where you go look at the evidence. When I'm talking about using good evidence and better evidence, this is good evidence here. This is a good guideline. So um, treatment records at the VA from 2001 through 2020. So 19 years of constant treatment is good. Um, there's a VA dis uh, DBQ from the CNP examiner. There's a uh, private letter. There's a DBQ um, from a doctor that was not considered. Um, also, um, these doctors that are out of state that do these diagnoses, um, you should really try to find a doctor near you that doesn't do thousands of these things um, a year. They they are on some uh, list somewhere, I'm sure, and the VA is onto it, and they quit accepting public use DBQs. Still submit them, but I would go to an in-person uh, exam. Goes through the uh, statement in support of claim, got a buddy letter, personal statement, uh, PTSD stressor form, the actual application, um, service treatment records from when he was in, uh, DD-214, that's where it says you're a combat veteran, and then the uh, higher level review um, paperwork. So reason for decision, and um, I just highlighted this part because I think this is the uh, most important part. It, it's all important, but I'm just kind of you know weighing in here. So um, the reports note continuous treatment with weekly to biweekly for suicide check and risk assessment. So this is where um, the intent uh, or plan comes in and uh, things get escalated with the VA and they put you on, I, I believe it's a 30 day program. And like, if you don't answer your phone in four hours, they're coming out for you and they want to check on you. <clears throat> so it's, it's a lot more than just, you know, suicidal thoughts and ideation. Uh, I think this definitely helped him. And uh, he has all this stuff in his VA record. So it was easy for them to find when they um, did the uh, uh, higher level review. It says right here, we're unable to accept the DBQ prepared by so-and-so from out of state. Please note that a telehealth or telehealth uh, examination report is only acceptable and actionable for rating purposes when prepared by a VHA or VBA contracted examiner. So that's your Veterans Health Administration treating doctor or VBA contracted examiner, CNP examiner. So um, they went ahead and they still um, disregarded the, the private DBQ altogether. Uh, goes on a little bit more. And it talks about all the uh, rating criteria in the 100% uh, category versus the 70% category. And they went ahead and thought that he had enough in the 100% um, category to award him 100% PTSD uh, instead of 70% PTSD. And the reason that I'm showing this to you is I want to kind of show you some medical evidence and then even if the VA disregards your DBQ twice, <laughs> first time and in a higher level review, um, they might, if you keep going to the doctor and you have enough stuff in your medical records, something happened between the, dis the initial decision and the DRO that uh, called this one out. So um, he ended up also getting a special monthly compensation S out of this as well. So um, this is basically how you can go from 40 to 100%. Obviously, mental health is a huge part. I mean, he's got 100% mental health rating, so that, that's a gigantic part of it. Um, if you're a combat veteran and you don't have a mental health claim 
or you don't have a mental health rating at all and you have a lot of problems with pain and depression and anxiety, I mean, this is a difference maker. In this claim, this alone brought them to 100%. So with that, I will see you in the next video.